welcome to the Los Angeles Memorial Coliseum, where so many great events have unfolded over the years, and today this crowd is charged up for a big USC Trojans home game. Today, two teams from the even bigger Big Ten clash, a conference that now stretches from the Atlantic all the way to the Pacific. This will be a good one. As we'll see, the Wisconsin Badgers taking on the 25th ranked team, the USC Trojans. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler, joined here in the booth by Kirk Kern Street. Kirk, let's get to the action on the field. It's Branch. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. So the USC Trojans offense comes on the field to open this game. And here comes one of the elite running backs in all of college football. When he gets the ball in his hands, he's just hold your breath time, Kirk. He's been electrifying. He sure is. The embodiment of a superstar. The bona fide runner with ill intentions for the defense. This offense leans on him, and there aren't very many times that he doesn't come through for him. Nice solid run here by this back. Did a nice job of just kind of finding that lane. Pick up some positive yards here on first and ten. Important second down play coming up. Catch made on the left side. Breaking free at the 35. Tackle made quickly, but a big chunk play for this offense through the air. Boy, nice job here by this offense, creating an opportunity for this receiver to excel after the catch. It's early in this game, so this defense better get their arms around this receiver because he could be a monster today. And the Trojans come to the line in the hurry up. Thrown quickly, caught in the right flat. Tackle made, but the game moves the ball to 30. Boy, just a great throw and outstanding accuracy by this USC quarterback. We always know over the years that SC has as much history as anybody at this quarterback spot and sure is living up to that right now. And the Trojans starting a new series here on first and ten. He hands it off from the gun. Finding space at the 20. Sophomore brought down after a nice run. And the Trojans are in the red zone now. Quick throw caught on the left side. Brought down, but the completion moves the ball inside the 10-yard line. Defense getting pushed back. How about this defense? That is called team pursuit. Swarming to this wide receiver on the screen, not allowing him to get his momentum upfield. Coming to the line on second down. This is important. They want to avoid a third and long. He hands it to the back. And he's brought down after a short game. Does not make the first down yardage. And they convert here on third down in the red zone. This is a four-point type of play. Touchdown or field goal. Dropping back. You're going to throw for the first down. There's no one to throw to there on third down. And now it's a fourth down coming up. Hey, the good news is here, Chris, they're still in field goal range, and they didn't cost themselves any points. But they could have more. They've got to be thinking about going for this on fourth and short. So it looks like they'll bring the field goal unit onto the field. So from the left hash, this is just a chip shot. No problem. Knocks it right through. So we have our first points on the board. That makes it 3 0. Well, they almost put a touchdown on the board, but instead they come away with three points. So after the field goal, 
the kicker out there again to boot it away. And here's the return from inside the five. And the returner is brought down. The Badgers offense comes out for their first possession today. This wide receiver, Kirk, is so dynamic. He puts a lot of pressure on the corners. And frankly, the safeties are going to have to get involved in coverage today, right? Yeah, the free safety is going to be tempted here to make plays. But this quarterback has a favorite target. He comes up with most of the 50-50 balls. Expect to see plenty of double coverage and help from his free safety today. For the defensive coordinator this week, all week telling us about gap integrity, not giving this running back any creases at all. Really sound defense on that play. It's early, but this crowd is fired up. Listen to this noise here. This is going to be tough for the visitors today. It's a solid game. Moves the ball out to the 28. Well, what do you know here? An offensive coordinator from Wisconsin calling a nice run play for a first down. Man, we have been seeing this for so many years, so many decades. Wisconsin, with the ability to run the football, is just a thing of beauty. First down play call. How aggressive will it be? And it's USC in front, Kirk, as we break for the quarter. Let's check out the stats now through the opening period. Plenty of time for some plot twists here as we begin the second quarter. How aggressive do you get on first and ten? Handoff from the shotgun. Stop after a small gain. Now look at it, second and nine. The shotgun handoff here. And the one moves the ball up to the 33. Crucial third down play right here. Back to throw. It's Van Dyke. It's a quick grab. Brought down, but it's past the line to gain. Tackle made, but a strong arm throw by the senior quarterback. Well, when you play zone defense on third down and you don't get pressure from your defensive line, you're going to give a quarterback a lot of time to be able to find an open receiver and eventually get the first down. Not surprised at all that they're able to convert. Ball handed off. Tackle made after a nice pickup on the play. Boy, how about that play, Chris? That thing just opened up the back shot through there with great acceleration. What a pickup there on first down. And the Badgers have first and ten here. From the shotgun, handoff inside. Shows off the moves there, but ultimately not much of a game. Well, I thought he might shake free there. He's able to break one tackle, but give credit to the secondary. Good job of coming up and run support. So we reach the two-minute warning as this offense tries to take the lead here before halftime. Offense lines up. This is the seventh play now on this drive. They look to throw it here on second down. And a short pitch and catch to the tight end. He's worked out quickly as short game gets the few yards closer to the marker. Boy, that's pretty good coverage here by this defense. Not much of a window to throw this ball into, but the quarterback's accuracy and the size of the tight end picks up a nice game. Listen to the crowd energy here in the early going. This is a tough, tough environment for visitors. It is intercepted. Going the other way, can they catch it? And he'll be taken down, but after a good return. 
I'm going to give the defensive coordinator a tip of the cap here. They went with dime coverage with six defensive backs, which gives them a lot more speed on the field. And with those defensive backs, they're able to play better in space. They recognize the ball, step in front of it for a nice interception. And the Trojans' offense is back out on the field. Kept out of the end zone last time. Had to settle for a short field goal. Can they improve upon that here? Let's it fly out of the wide out. Pass is caught right near the sideline. What a catch. Does get the foot down. Anytime you have a sudden change like this, Chris, I'd love to see the idea of this quick strike. The defense barely really has a chance to get established and get set. The next thing you know, they're dealing with an offense that's coming right at them, trying to put points on the board. Big chunk gain on the first play of the drive sets him up near midfield in first and ten. Caught over the middle. It's Branch. They get him down, but not before he gets to the plus 38. You know who's got to love this offense picking up so many first downs? Their own defense. Now, when I played, I used to have defensive guys come down and tell me when we'd have a long drive, how much they would allow them to rest and go out and play dominant football. Looking to throw. It's Moss. Quick throw, catch made on the out route. They stopped the receiver, but that's a solid gain on that play. Well, the running back that time just kind of sneaks out of the backfield and shows his hands on that nice catch. The offense will quickly spend a timeout here after the play. Now it's second down here. From the shotgun, drops back. Quick throw to his receiver. He'll take it into the end zone. Touchdown, Trojans. Chris, as you know, anytime you hit a big post route like this for a touchdown, the timing between the quarterback and the receiver is essential. Nice job of not waiting too long. Quarterback takes a hitch, gets the ball out early, and allows his receiver to run underneath the beautifully thrown football for the touchdown. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. And the extra point gives them a double-digit lead. So after the touchdown, here's the kickoff, and we'll see if the opposing offense has time to answer before halftime. And it's fielded. Can the returner make something happen here? And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. And here comes the Badgers offense back out on the field. They've got a choice here in the final minute. Do they get aggressive, try to cut into this lead, or play it safe and point toward the second half? Heads out of bounds after a solid gain, more than enough to pick up a first down. The key on a third down between a quarterback and a wide receiver is the timing. That quarterback knows that he's got to get the ball out quickly and on time to give his receiver a chance to not just make the catch and stay in bounds, but to be able to give him a chance to maybe get upfield and make a play. On first and ten, looking to throw. Grab down the middle. It's green. The timeout is called. It talks strategy. Close game here as we approach halftime. And completion makes it second and short. On the shotgun, drops back looking for an open man. It's caught downfield. An explosive play moves the ball across midfield. They'll spot it at the 38. Offense stops the clock with their second timeout to talk strategy. And the Badgers will have first and 10 here. To the air, it's Van Dyke. Receiver looks it in. It's complete. They bring down the receiver, but that's a nice gain on that play. Well, you can tell the quarterback knew exactly what he wanted to do with the football. He was going to that in route no matter what. He hits it for a nice game. And completion makes it second and short. Clock stops. I'm now taken by the offense. The offense comes back out there. Not much time left. Perhaps just time for a couple plays before the half. Looking to pass here on second down. 
And the sophomore making an impact play. Here. Let's kick it down to Kevin Connors with our halftime update. Fellas, there in the shadows of the Hollywood side, you've been watching quite a drama of your own. And there is no better place to start this halftime than by reviewing how this wideout has been a one-man wrecking crew. The kid's been everywhere. And I love how he's willing to go across the middle, but that he also has the Jets to burn these DBs on the deep ball. If this defense wants to actually come back in this one, they better hide his cleats. That said, let's get back to the field and our guys in the booth to start the second half. The Trojans will kick this away to start the second half. Fields it inside the five-yard line. And he's tackled at the 21. That's where the drive will start. And the Wisconsin offense back out on the field. First play of the second half, they keep it on the ground. And the defense able to hold him there to a short gain. You know, in the era that we live in right now, everybody wants to spread the field around, try to create space, try to create one-on-one -on -one matchups. And the defense has countered over the years by trying to play out wide. But here's a great example of a defense has the ability to play wide, but still be solid at the line of scrimmage and not give up big run plays. Now they run a draw play. They tackle him behind the line, a loss of four. Chris, I'll be really honest with you. I don't know why they continue to try to run the football. I'm all about balance. I'm all about trying to make sure defense has to defend the run and the throw. But at this point in the game, they haven't been able to run the ball. They're going to have to go through the air if they're going to come back and take the lead in this game at some point. Now in third and very long, looking to throw. Caught near the sideline. It's falling. These undersized slot receivers can be some of the toughest guys to contain for a defense. They're quicker than they really are fast, and they're very elusive, tough to contain in these one-on-one -on -one matchups. And the Badgers will send the punt team out of the field. He's on to boot it away now. With the return, it's Branch. And the return brought down by the coverage team. And the USC offense is back out on the field. Which offense can get it going first? This one has been a struggle so far. And the receivers got it. Well, the defense didn't have any time at all to get pressure on the quarterback. He gets the ball out of his hands pretty quickly on the hitch to the receiver. That completion makes it second and medium. It's a quarterback keeper. They make the tackle, but that's a solid game. Moves the ball to the 34. Boy, this offense does such a great job of putting the threat of the quarterback and the running back on this defense. It puts the defense in a tough spot because it's really hard to take both away. This time, the quarterback gets out and shows you the speed he has as well. Takes the handoff, heads to the right. The defense all over him. They stop him right at the line. That's a great play all around by this defense. Their first-level defenders hold their own at the point of attack, allowing the second- and third-level players to roam free and make the tackle close to the line of scrimmage. Offense getting set up. Here's second down. Same tailback, another carry. The senior able to make the stop after a short game. So the offense getting set. This is not where you want to be against this defense. Third and long. Dropping back. Looking to throw for the first down. He makes the grab. He stopped, but he gets a first down. 
For this offensive line, you've got to tip your cap. They've done everything you would ask of them in taking care of this quarterback. They do it again here on third down, working with that lead. You know the pressure's coming, and they deliver. And the Trojans pick up enough yardage for a first down. And it's USC in front, Kirk, as we break for the quarter. We've reached the end of the third. Time is running out to cut into this lead. Let's check out the game stats before we go on. One quarter to go. Let's see if this sets up as a classic finish. And the Trojans begin a new series here, first and ten. And they hand it off to the back. Great cut there. Breaks a tackle on the play and makes a decent game. Uh, you're starting to see this defense, I think, wear down now that we're in the fourth quarter. It's been a tough day for them, and the offense is taking advantage of it. A lot of positive plays. Good job of eating as much clock as they can here on this drive in the fourth quarter. So down here in the red zone, every yard tough to find. Here is a crucial play coming up. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And they stop him just short. The defense really backed up now. It's first and goal. Boy, this offense just seems to get more confident as this football game is played out. They've got a nice lead. Here they are in the fourth quarter, just working that clock, possessing the football, and trying to get out of here with a nice, solid victory. And the Trojans come to the line with first and goal. First and goal, they'll try to run it in. Couldn't quite get in, but they're knocking on the door at the one. Chris, this is situational football. This is really where the great coaches separate themselves because in these kind of situations, this is where you want to be able to score and kill the clock. Some teams do it better than others, and that's primarily coaching and execution and preparation. It'll be interesting to see how this offense navigates this spot in the field. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. But these obvious running situations are very tough when you're working with the lead late in the game because you know the defense is going to stack the line of scrimmage, make it as difficult as possible for you to run the football. So nice job there by the defense. They're trying to punch that ball out, do anything they can at all to get the ball back. On the ground, trying to punch it in for the score. And he runs it into the end zone. Touchdown, USC. I'm surprised here, Chris. I thought they might put the ball in the air here on third and goal, but instead they run the football, keep it on the ground, and they get the touchdown. They're setting out to try the PAT. And the extra point up and good makes it a three-score game. Up 17 here in the fourth. Here's the kickoff team. Let's see if they give the returner an opportunity to bring this back. And it's field of Returner trying to create good field position here. Returner tackle right there. That's where they'll start the drive. And the Wisconsin offense is back out on the field. This group is coming off a quick three and out. Can they put something together in this drive? Caught over the middle. It's green. Tackle made, but it moves the ball to the 25 as they try to get this drive going. Hey, that's a great gain right here for these guys. And it hasn't been a good day, let's face it. But I love the fact that they're still fighting. And a drive like this, who knows what it could do for you. Maybe get points on the board. Maybe not able to come back in this game. But, man, it could really help you down the road as far as showing what your character is about and how you're not giving up. Dropping back, it's Van Dyke looking for the wide out. And he pulls in the catch. They bring him down, but a big chunk of yardage on the play. Chris, if I'm not mistaken, I think that's only his second catch of this entire game. Boy, this defense has done an amazing job of keeping him in check. Let's face it, this guy's as good as anybody in the country. Big-time playmaking ability, but they've taken him out of the game. I think it's a big reason that they have a nice lead. Here comes a first down pass attempt. 
The sure hands, it's Anthony. The offense will wisely spend a timeout after the play. Clock management's going to be very important here in the final minutes. Pass complete. It's second down now. Quarterback drops back, probing the secondary. Pass ball is incomplete. There was a lot of contact. No penalty. Brings up third down. down through the air. Oh, and another incompletion. Oof, the risk of throwing on third and short. Lots of second guessing going over on that sideline about that play call. You gotta wonder if they're gonna go for it anyway on fourth down, but what will be the play call? So down by multiple possessions here. The offense will try to convert here on fourth down. They flip it to him on the jet sweep. They've got him, but that completion, good enough for first down yardage. You know, to me, Chris, with this offense, it's almost an extension of their running game. You put the receiver out in motion, you flip the ball out to him, out to the outside, let him do what he does best, which is use his instincts, and he picks up a first down. The clock is still running. They've got to get set quickly. Looking to throw again. That's caught. It's Pauling. And the coach quickly calls timeout after the play, trying to hold on to as much time as possible. And the Badgers lining up here on first and ten. There's the snap. Looking to throw the ball. And he's going to fling it deep, going for it all here. And it's picked off in the end zone. And that's a solid return after the interception. Boy, would this quarterback love to have this one back. They're trying to work themselves back into this game here in the second half. And the defense comes up with a big turnover that could be the nail in the coffin. So this one is tucked away. Time for victory formation. And the quarterback just kneels down. 